Welcome. We are Rihanna and Massa, classical pianists and owners of The Piano Boat. Join us as we cruise the English waterways, making music along the way. Here we are, um, 10 minutes later than planned departure, but uh, just about, so we're going to be setting off. Beautiful weather. Welcome back to The Piano Boat, or welcome for the first time to our channel. It's hard to believe this was actually filmed at the beginning of uh, June, but uh, this was the recce cruise all the way to Hartford from Harefield. Here I set off at a snail's pace on the electric propulsion, not just because I enjoy the sense of grandeur, but also not to disturb our neighbouring boats. We have already done cruising videos in episode 6 and 7, I think, mainly featuring going through the central London route, so we won't be including too much of that for this video. However, with all the restrictions that's been going on, we haven't exactly cruised much, and setting off from the marina always gives that sense of occasion, and I couldn't help but include the departure in this video as well. But I promise I won't start all cruising videos in the future from the marina. This stretch of the canal, heading south from White Waterlock, is particularly beautiful on the Grand Union. I again had to set off with the boat single-handedly, much like the October cruise. But here the warmth provided for an even better experience all round. Just a quick setup to show here. Here we have my uh, very old iPad in good use, and uh, hang on, there's a oh, train. Can't really see with this with this camera. Oh, that flagpole I didn't remove, but uh, no, it's all right. And so nothing really, just uh, well, nothing at all, just a tray full of things. And here we have the uh, monitor, which I actually have a. Uh, very straightforward iPhone, an old iPhone as well, and they are FaceTiming each other on the port side, so when I approach locks, it becomes actually really useful. At this point, it's not really doing much, but you never know when, or bridges, when there are bridges. So very useful. And here we have the first of said bridge. Successfully navigated this one, but unfortunately that wasn't the case for the many ahead. Well, honestly, I don't know how people manage, but um, it's too embarrassing for me 
to be talking to camera when there are more boats along the along the side and now we've got a clear patch so a uh, bit of an update it is now almost quarter past ten um, so we set off at quarter to ten after all this is only the first railway bridge sadly no trains going overhead just now um, but um, so we've set off 15 minutes delay not too bad oh right back going okay. like a local it was quite a short formation um, so yes this is the day one of our cruise to Hartford and uh, we'll probably do a separate feature on the hybrid but uh, we're currently running on electric and there's a, a gentle hum of the motor but otherwise the splash of the water it's very very uh, very calm Although I think I did mention in the last, well, last time we cruised, the, the chug chug of the diesel is something uh, which is quite comforting and I'm familiar with, but uh, we're getting a lot of solar in as well. So uh, um, this is certainly the green way to travel. Long way ahead. Um, I might just crank up the electric a little bit and perhaps you can hear the motor. It almost sounds like a model railway motor really is purring away. All working very well at the moment. Touch wood. And uh, well, there we go. We're on our way. And at some point, uh, Rihanna will contact me to say she's on her way. And then I will let her know my location and where I am likely to be so that she can stand by at a bridge which would involve her parking the car somewhere nearby so more logistics to work out as we go having gone down the denham d block and another one we skip to the last lock of this stretch in fact there are no more locks all the way until camden town there was a lock volunteer helping out here some say they take away the fun of boating but for me they have really been most helpful Below the lock worked out to be the meeting place with Rihanna. We had guests on board in the evening, so she came armed with car full of shopping. In fact, she had to leave the car at the marina and take a taxi down to this place. It was a short walk from the main road and she did not look happy carrying two full bags of shopping. Just got onto the boat. It's uh, very hot. I've brought all the shopping, three very, very heavy bags, um, but we are on our way to Alperton. So hopefully we'll make it there by this evening. All set with my Yankees from our trip to New York a few years ago. Oh my goodness, it is so hot today so hot my feet are burning i'm not wearing shoes on the deck and my feet are actually burning on the surface so whew, we've got aircon inside but not outside well this is a very different feel to the same route i did in october the sun's out it's warm but now we are approaching that left turn into paddington arm it's still on grand union an incredibly narrow junction. It's not going to be just as scary as the first time. But I mean, the whole place is a lot noisier, a lot more busy, bustling. The wind is strong. Here we go. I'll tell you, from here, it doesn't look like we're going to go in. Yeah, rope one. 
rope one. We promptly picked up the fender, which wasn't difficult to do, but that was merely a precursor for what's to come. It became increasingly windy as the day went on, which probably didn't help, but exhausted, we weren't really planning to go further on. The day's cruise was done. It's day two and where are we going today? Are we going to Victoria today? This is the big one, we're going through central London again. Oh yes, we're going through central London uh, with this giant boat and we have friends with us today. Hiroko and John come to help and do the locks, um, so that should be good. And I'm going to sunbathe on the roof, I think. <laughs> so I'm going to be driving then? Yeah. All right. So we set off, firstly from Alperton towards the aqueduct going over the North Circular. On the port side here is a golf course and on the starboard side there are rows of houses. However, quite often the canal is separated by a row of trees and it's all made for a very tranquil cruise. Past this bridge, the scenery changes quite a bit and we can clearly feel that we're now heading towards central London. More houses, more buildings and it gets considerably noisier around. Cruising over the World Heritage Ponte Cachasht Aqueduct in Wales was indeed an incredibly unique experience. But this aqueduct going over the North Circular, I have to say, is one of my favourites. I used to commute from North London to Acton, and I couldn't believe that there was a mass of water travelling above the carriageways. This would be the fourth time I'm going over this aqueduct. And every time I just get so excited, get off the boat and just have a good look around. has prepared an amazing lunch for us. We've got salad and over here, wow. And wow. We might hire her as our chef. Tight. Um, it is a bit, but we should manage. This is when it's quite useful. You can see the water. It looks like we're going to press into the boat, but yeah. there's actually plenty of water. Brilliant. Yeah, that's about the only time I can do it. Uh,
This is where Hiroko and John disembarked. Or they thought they did, until the boat got stuck and they were nice enough to hang around to oversee that we eventually carried on. It was at least an hour and a half fully that I was stuck in this pound. In hindsight, I should have checked the water level of the pound the moment I left the last lock. I could have avoided getting grounded quite so extensively. However, the water level was just really too low for the boat to have made it to the next lock straight away. An hour and a half, getting stuck, going back and forth in this pound with so many spectators. This was not the finest day. Nearly 10 o'clock and we have just moored up for the evening. Our friends John and Hiroko left at about 4.30ish so then we cruised on for about another five hours but we still didn't reach our final destination which was going to be, well we kind of did. We were at Victoria Park which is where we were aiming for but we were hoping to get a little bit further and we were hoping it would not take us this long. Um, we had a massive delay in the middle because um, when we got to the Camden locks, the three locks at Camden, um, someone had left the gates open or the paddles open. Um, so basically the pound in the middle became really shallow and we got completely grounded. So we had to spend probably about an hour filling up the the pound using the other locks. So that was a massive delay. Um, so here we are. We have finally arrived somewhere um, and we're gonna leave early tomorrow to try and catch up. We're both pretty tired and sunburned, so I think we're gonna get an early night tonight. Minor adjustments. Okay, let's have a go then. It is steel, so I'd rather not. It's the only way to get through here. 